Okay, so today I wanted to talk about the Kobe Bryant reporting incident and why do some people have to get mad over a, a mistake and the people who got a source that they had no choice but to report it because they didn't want to wait for eight hours. And that's what I want to touch on today because just last week, at the time I'm recording this, is, it's Saturday, but on at the time I'm uploading this now is on Sunday, the day that Kobe Bryant died last week, which is now Sunday at the uh, time this video will be posted. Kobe Bryant died from helicopter helicopter crash last week and no there were some reports saying that four people died in car crash first and then it comes up as eight people and then now nine people including Kobe Bryant which which makes it that way nine people including Kobe Bryant died from a helicopter crash and one of those nine people is Gigi Bryant or Gina Bryant Kobe's now uh, late daughter and Kobe Bryant, the late Kobe Bryant now, as of one week ago, one week ago, he also died from a helicopter crash, and he was 41 years old. Yeah. And then certain tweets happened to come up. And uh, one of them is from the... Uh, Sheriff's Department, and I'm going to explain my thoughts about that after I read this tweet. I am saddened that I was gathering that as a media outlet reported that Kobe had passed. I understand getting the scoop, but please allow us time to make personal notifications to your loved ones. It's very cold to hear the loss via media breaks my heart. Thank you, Chief Osby. Personnel from Los Hills Sheriff's Station responded to the scene of, of the crash site and uh, assisted the fire department. And we've established a, a containment area. And now our Aero Bureau has a handle on traffic or. Uh, aircraft accidents, however, when there's a fatality, then it switches to the National Transportation Safety Bureau, the NTSB, and the Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA. The FAA is already on scene and assisting. We're waiting the arrival of the coroner's office to assist in the recovery of the remains. As the chief indicated, there were no survivors. We have a manifest that indicates that there was nine people on board the aircraft, the pilot plus eight individuals. Uh, there are uh, wide speculation as to who the identities are. However, it is entirely inappropriate right now to identify anyone by name until the coroner has made the identification through their very deliberative process and they've made, made notifications to next of kin. And it'd be extremely disrespectful to understand that your loved one has perished and you learn about it from TMZ. That is just wholly inappropriate, so we're not going to be going there. We're going to wait till the coroner does their job, and we're assisting the families of those who believe they have been impacted, and it's a, it's, a, it's a tough process. And our hope goes out to all of the members that were on board, all the family of everyone who was on board this aircraft, and uh, God bless their souls. So at this point in time, we have nothing that we can add until the coroner does their job, and we'll be making those notifications when we have the information and we know the next of kin have been notified, then we can release the information publicly. 
and you'll be notified in uh, subsequent uh, announcements. Sure. 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 Sure
this is Bryant and and let them know that they're going to do a story on this. ABC News tweeted that Matt Gutman had the latest information on the helicopter crash that killed nine people including Kobe Bryant and his 13 year old daughter Gianna. Today I inaccurately reported it was being believed that four of Kobe Bryant's children were on board on that flight. That is incorrect. I apologize to Kobe's family, Brandon, and our viewers. Now, Matt Gunman was suspended throughout the week. Will he, he bought, will he be fired? No. But some people, like uh, these tweets that came in, say that he should be, which is so false and wrong because he only made a mistake and he shouldn't be fired. I honestly hope you never find a reporting job ever again. And that's the nicest thing I have to say to you. Opening up to the mistake is a minor bro, but the mistake was irresponsible and inexcusable. You should be fired or resign. If anything, no, he shouldn't be fired for making one mistake on the death of a person who died. You know, it's people like this who want the reporter out of the job just because they made one mistake. And it's also people like this who want TMZ to go off the air. Which is also wrong. I mean, come on. TMZ is only doing their job. And their job is to report the, the breaking stories that are out there as a gossip website. I mean, come on. And as for Matt Gunman, yes, he made a mistake. Yes, I'm, yes, I know you're all mad, but he will not be fired. ABC News has only suspended him. That doesn't, that doesn't mean that he will be suspended indefinitely because he won't be fired. ABC News will not take any death threats from other pe people on social media like this. So, you're all gonna have to stop. And Team C will ignore death threats too. You're all gonna have to stop. Okay? If you were working at a facility like this, you will be blamed after your first day on the job. You'll be blamed for making misinformation on your first day at the job while you made a mistake and people will call you out for it. So don't be trying to make this comfort controversial and calling them out. Okay? Because that's not going to work. It never should work. And it never will be working. I just ask that all of you who, who are ganging up on TMZ for, for doing their job exactly the way that they are supposed to do their job, to knock it off. And as for the people who are slow at investigating quickly, you need to investigate quickly and not keep the family on waiting. That's what happens every time. When someone gets the information like eight hours later, then the family will find out who died because the family is worried. And that's another thing. The family does not want to wait that long, eight hours, after their loved ones have passed in a t devastating crash, like the helicopter crash that Kobe Bryant and Gina Bryant accidentally got into and it was a permanent accident that accident is permanent because once it's permanent you're not alive anymore and that's and that's a sad true statement here and I'm pretty sure Vanessa Bryant does not want to wait eight hours after the investigation has been concluded that's all I have to say on that 
Get your jobs done. Do it right. And do it fast.